flustered a little bit, um, but I'm ready this time. <laughs> so, as I was saying before, I really didn't feel like God was in my life and He was there with me. But Jeremiah 29 11 says, For I know the plan that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you, and plans to give you a hope and a future. So, although I may not be able to see what God's doing in my life right now, He has His foot in the door, and He already knows what He's going to do for me. And sooner or later, I'll be able to step back and see His plan unfold, and see what He really has in store for me. So, one way that I feel like God shows up in my life is through these disaster relief trips that we go on. Um, so just last week we went down to Newburgh, North Carolina to help out with Hurricane Florence. And throughout the whole week I was just being blessed by the people that we were blessing. Um, and so at the end of the week we had a church service there for the people at the church we were staying at. And the church service goes on and we preach the sermon, we sing the songs. And then at the end of the church service, a lady comes up to the front, and she is just in tears. And she's crying, and she's, these are tears of joy. And she's saying, I am so grateful for the work that you guys are out here doing for me. Because just the tiny little things that we do, moving trees from somebody's backyard to the road, can really help them. And we're not helping them physically, but we're helping them spiritually. We're spreading God's love to them. And so, what do I mean to Jesus? Now, John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And in... 1 Corinthians 13, 13, it says, And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. And that verse is basically just saying that love is the greatest gift that God gives to us. And I mean, 1 John 4, 19 says, We love because he first loved us. And God's love has always been there for us since the beginning of time. We just need to open up and accept his love. And so, Jesus sent his only, I mean, God sent his only son to die on the cross for us. We are so sinful and so undeserving of the gift that he has given to us. The only two things that he asks of us is that we obey him and that we spread his word. And I think that that is something so amazing and that we need to share with the world. And we are able to share that through these mission trips and through these disaster relief trips. And so, basically, Jesus has loved us since the beginning, and he will always love us. We just need to accept his love and take the call to serve. Amen.